Welcome to our logic problem series. In this uh, series, we'll be looking at different types of logic problems, and we are going to be introducing two very important um, solutions to solving this problem, one of which is making tables. And we will learn how to go through the problems, analyze different lines of information you're given, and actually learn how to draw the table, how to fill it in with checks and uh, crosses, and yeah, that's about it, and let's go read the problem. A, B, C, D, four people, each have one occupation, and occupation just means job, from the following, Professor, Dr. Lauren, police, it's just that we don't know which order. It has known that, and it gives you five different pieces of information right here, and we're going to try to fill in this table according to this five piece of information. So let's read um, the first one. The professor doesn't know the occupation of A. So what does that mean? Well, we don't know who A is. It doesn't specify that. We don't know who the professor is either. But what we do know is that they're not the same person. So I could make a cross that to say uh, A is not the professor. They do not match. Next one. The doctor has cured B before. So then that also makes clear that they're two different people, right? So they're two different people. The lawyer is the legal consultant of C. So what does legal consultant mean? It's not something big in here, but legal consultant is just somebody who helps you make decisions according to the law. So it means that those two people just come together very often. So it's almost just... Think of it as a, cult, a consultant, somebody you go to when you need advice, say a mom or a dad. Um, of course, not really a mom or dad, but okay, I love the fourth one because it just directly tells you that D is not the lawyer. So D is not the lawyer. Oh, going back to number three, the lawyer is a legal consultant of C. It means that the lawyer and C are not the same person, so they're, the C is not the lawyer. And B and C have never met. Now, this is about as far we have gone after our first read. So, we're going to go back and see what we can squeeze out after. The professor doesn't know the occupation of A. Okay. Um, we can't really get anything out of that. The doctor has cured B before. So, what does that mean? So, when a doctor cures B, it means that they've met, right? But... B and C have never met. Notice both that there's B's right here. So it means that C is not the doctor. Right? When you when you heal somebody, you need to meet them, right? Or else it just doesn't make sense. So now we know that C is not the doctor. Let's keep reading. The lawyer is a legal consultant of C, which means that they come together very often because they have to make decisions, a lot of important decisions together. And yet they have never met, so B is not a lawyer, right? They have because B and C have never met, but but the lawyer have always have oh has always met with C, so B is not the lawyer. B is not a lawyer. So if you look at this, you'll start to notice that wow, lawyers. Then who can be the lawyer? Only A qualifies because all of the other people. They can't. So then we have to cross that out. Remember, because each person is only one thing. So that's just something important to do that after you have somebody, it can't, she or he can't be anybody else, which leaves us this green as well. B is in the lawyer, sorry, lawyer and B and C have never ever met. Um, okay, the professor doesn't know the occupation of A. And wh who do we have? Okay, who do we have right now? We have B and C left. So B and C have never met. Um, and in this first line right here, it says that professor does not know the occupation of A. So, um, who is A? A is a lawyer. Who here hasn't met with the lawyer before? Well, it can't be C because they're the legal consultant. So then B will have to not know A, so which means B is the professor, right? B is the professor, which makes C the policeman, and everything works out like that. So 
if you're going to answer, like, which occupation is each person, you just have to look at the table and you know. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, the key here is actually learning how to create this table, how to gather the information, and how to just analyze this. We just kind of read through them all the time, and then we knew, like, how to check this, how to cross out that. And by the end, we were able to solve the problem. So, thank you for watching again, and see you next time.